Welcome back, viewers of Blurred. You don't know it's a girl kind of representing for Blurred. I know I have been MIA for so long, but you don't know every setback is for a bigger comeback. And the title of this video tells it all. The people in my ask the questions, you know, they want to know why are Jamaicans so dominant on the field? Why do we continue to take on the wins? Why are we the sprinters of the world and the secret is out? So you guys want to find out why? You want to know why? I know for a little island they say we're little but we're Talawa. I know the question lingers in the rest of the world's mind. Why Jamaicans are so fast? What are the true reasons behind all of that? All of the goals? Hmm. Is it the Yaman banana? I want to know. Is it the fact that we train so hard? Or is it our DNA? The questions lingers. And to find out, you have to stay tuned. You have to watch the video to the end. To find out the real reason behind the gold medals the real reason behind the sprinters of the world the real reason why we have the fastest man in the world and the fastest woman in the world mm. as a little island i am going to rub that in as a little island jamaicans oh my god i am so proud but Ooh, I just have to tell the secret. Most Jamaican schools have an athletics program in the curriculum, so Jamaican children are into athletics at a young age. Budding young athletes have to impress at primary school level as this can get them recognized by good athletic schools like St. Jager High, Kingston College High, and Viertek Technical High School. The most important athletics events in Jamaica is the Issa Boys and Girl Champions otherwise or simply known as champs which began in 1910 at sabina park these championships are a chance for athletes under 19 to show off their talents to the national and overseas coaches the championships are incredibly popular in jamaica and the athletes are normally competing to crowds of 20 to 25,000 people which is good in preparation for major championships and some of the championship records are world class the championships are the climax of series of athletics meetings under 19 in jamaica this is similar to grand prix series whose climax is normally a major championships in senior athletics dominant athletes are normally picked for the pen relays a competition where the best jamaican schools and universities compete against americans counterparts Herb McKinley entered the first Jamaican high school team into the Penn Relays in 1964. Since then, Jamaicans have won more than half the events. The groundwork begins when the athletes are younger, starting in grade school and particularly around the time they reach high school. Most of these athletes that you see would have been involved in a sport 10 to 12 years prior to them being at the Olympics. These athletes would have gone through rigors of competing at high school and primary level. Jamaica is a relatively small island, so the chances of recruiters spotting an aspiring track star is almost inevitable. You would have coaches looking out there for the next big thing. You get into all of the proper organized training programs and from there your development begins. Not only are young runners groomed by recruiters and coaches, but the island's living legends also play a vital role in developing champions athletes. We have the living legends that are there encouraging the kids and just being present. And this also adds to the success that you see at the Olympics. Usain Bolt, who is Jamaica's most decorated Olympian and arguably one of the best sprinters, is just one of the track icons motivating the country's youth. You know, you could easily come in contact with any of the legends, 
They're always very receptive of the kids and they're always there to come and share with them. It's a different environment also. And we're appreciative of the level of support and interest that they would show in also giving back to their own schools, which would nurture them and develop them. We're going back to the food aspect of it all, but Manata Bonacori boat. We're talking about yam and the banana. Professor Errol Morrison, the president of the University of Technology of Jamaica, has conducted extensive studies on why Jamaicans run so fast and his most recent findings suggest two of the country's staple crops are partially responsible. This is a hypothesis. This is not gospel and fixed in stone. It is a hypothesis based on a lot of biochemical research and anatomical research. Marsden said yam produces hypersteroids which act as a stimulant while green bananas produce phytate which replenishes the energy supply. The man said, you cannot just eat tuber crops like yam and gorod. What is happening is it is a staple diet. So our young people who are using these staple crops are being exposed to these anabolical steroids from a very early age. Scientists have looked into the genetics of Jamaican sprinters' dominance. The first genes associated with powerful sprinting is the angiotensin converting enzyme or ACE gene. If you have a particular variant of this gene, known as the D allele, you are likely to have a larger than average heart capable of pumping highly oxygenated blood to the muscle quicker than the average human. That also gives your body a better response to training. In people of West African origin, the frequency of the variant is slightly higher than in those in European and Japanese origin. In Jamaica, it is a little higher than in West Africa. That is interesting because of the 10 million people which was forcibly removed from Africa in the transatlantic slave trade, more than a million died en route. The last stop for the Caribbean slave ships was Jamaica. If you made it this far, you were among the toughest of the top. So in my opinion, just to conclude the rest of the video, I think that this gene is not just widely from Africans or West Africans. It is generated from our ancestors who were involved in the Atlantic slave trade or the Middle Passage. And you know, for human being for the average human to endure such horror and the atrocity that our ancestors would have faced a lot of suffering and you know we're not even want to get too deep in that because those are the things that would get us emotional but yes we were classified as the strongest and the toughest because of this fact because of these facts but once again, just know that us Jamaicans, we're blessed, we're different, we're special. We're special and we have to give thanks to God. You get what me I say? And the coaches, of course, the coaches, they are the ones that push the athletes from an early stage. Because remember, you know, I don't even know that if you know this fact, Jamaica is the only country that provides athletic um, programs as early as infancy. That is how early we... um encourage we encourage athletics in the school and in our homes it is natural and it is a part of our culture just like the food remember you know jamaicans on a whole we eat very healthy we eat healthy and it is a part of our culture and that is why people all over the world when they come to jamaica they would want to sample our food they enjoy our food and sports and entertainment is what built Jamaica. And this is one of the reasons why we would encourage it as early as possible from in the homes. You get what me I said? But this is where I would wrap it up, guys. So let me just know what you think in the comment section. Remember to continue to subscribe, like, and to tell a friend to tell a friend. Peace. I'm out.